Okay, this is a good one. Let's talk about this. Just for reference, this is what miniaturization looks like. So the bigger hairs are terminal hairs, the smaller hairs are vellus hairs. Now the most common cause of miniaturization is related to DHT, and this is the Ludwig scale. This is for women. The scale for men is called the Norwood scale. So this shows you what hair loss related to DHT in women looks like. But what if you've gone to your doctor and you've said, my hair is the thinnest through this area, my temple or my sides. And your doctor looks at your hair and says, oh, there's miniaturization, you have female pattern baldness. Okay, hold on a minute because that doesn't look like the Ludwig scale. So hair loss from iron anemia, low saturation or low ferritin can present itself in this area of the head as miniaturization and can be misdiagnosed as female pattern baldness. So this is why blood work with your doctor is so important. You have to check your ferritin. The range for ferritin is 10 to 150. Ferritin has to be at least 80 before hair loss related to low ferritin will start to slow down. So if you have miniaturization from low ferritin, I would refer you to a good multivitamin, a good probiotic, and a good iron. But if your hair loss looks more like the Ludwig scale, if that's the type of miniaturization that you're having, then you have an issue with DHT and you need to have your sex hormones checked through blood work. Now the two main causes in women for a DHT issue is either some type of hormone replacement therapy, so either birth control or taking the actual hormones for like perimenopause where they've gone through menopause or they've had a full hysterectomy. The other is insulin resistance. So if you have true female pattern baldness, we're gonna tackle this two different ways, short-term and long-term. I would refer you to a good multivitamin, a good probiotic, a DHT inhibitor, so either pumpkin seed oil or the hair care liposomal. Long-term, we're gonna take some things into consideration. Are you on birth control? Do you do hormone replacement therapy? As long as you're on birth control, as long as you are taking a hormone to try and balance out your hormones, you may need a DHT inhibitor, so you will take that long term. Now, if your DHT issue is related to insulin resistance, you have to work on your insulin resistance. And most of the time, that includes things like making changes in your diet.